Seems to have taken a little knock there, so much so that ref Jason Mannix uh, held up the play for a moment and now we're back and uh, Doherty seems to have any or no ill effect from that one. He's in the box, an opportunity, good save by Cusick. Uh, did well, did the treaty net minor there. Central defence, uh, but again Wexford will build through Carl Fitzsimons over to the left hand side, the diagonal ball and an opportunity. Uh, for them to drill it into the box and it goes Turner with a header straight into the arms of the grateful Cusick Body just putting himself between him and Antoine and shielding the ball and causing all sorts of problems up, up, up front Yeah and that shot just uh, flying in there from Harry Groom troubling uh, Shane Cusick on uh, this occasion Free kick giving the keeper plenty of uh, space are the Wexford defenders they've pushed up to the 18-yard box that ball comes in now glancing header it's in the net it's in the net a super goal right off the uh, training ground I would say Tommy and that goal yeah. coming as it did a smashing goal for Treaty United whipped in a uh, great free kick for Mark Lodden and uh, the ball is in touch and that touch is taken by Fox and again uh, Wexford will try to build on this and uh, good play by Wexford now, an opportunity, shot comes in and that shot is well uh, marshalled by Cusick. Harry Groom who's been in and out of the, the game so far but looks potent Tommy when he gets possession. Available early but uh, Crowley waits and puts a low one in and that's fooled everybody by Treaty United. Um, a lot of difficulty, Mark Ludden getting his boot to it on the line for Treaty and that was a one of those uh, corners again Tommy from the training ground and one that almost caught Treaty United from Cusick's uh, long kick the ball comes in midfield and it's Mark Walsh who picks it up for Treaty United one forward here Constrain is in is he a chance a good defending by uh, Wexford on that occasion but Constrain again and his shot goes across the face of goal that would have been a nice time to get a second goal for Treaty United point here but uh, we got a good header on it and uh, we got a good second clearance on it and now Doherty gets inside lovely strike uh, on the uh, run from him but couldn't direct it on target but uh, this man Jack Doherty definitely showing that uh, he needs watching shore up the game from a 3D point of view or indeed for push on or from Wexford's point of view maybe to try and unhinge that treaty defence Clyde's in trouble here and yes, for the second week in a row, that challenge has only succeeded in uh, Clyde getting a, a red card. Great handling and uh, worked a 1 2 with Joel, and before he knew it, he was closing down the, the Wexford keeper. Um, as I say, got the block on it and could have gone anywhere. And here's an opportunity, good ball into the box, uh, spread in there, but can't be controlled. And that was a nice pass that was made by Connor Crowley. An opportunity here, a long ball out to the uh, left-hand side where Alex O'Hanlon gets on it. Faces towards Jack Lynch, the treaty skipper. Good ball in by O'Hanlon. Doherty came in there quickly, almost goes in. Nice touch there and uh, good defending at the uh, back by Treaty United as uh, Carl Manahan kept the ball low. Down this left side, Wexford must see it as their route to goal and in they come. Again, Doherty leaves it off, uh, ball across the box then. Uh, yeah. but, but Tommy, a lot of joy on this left side. Their goal up, they're a man down. Uh, Tommy Barrett will be just saying, roll on that clock, roll past the 90 minutes and give us the three points. Chance here, good oh. effort, spread in and just uh, flies uh, yeah. behind. So I, I would say Mark is the man of the match this evening. Defending to do here, good ball in, whipped in, the header. Uh, on it from uh, Wexford on this occasion a long ball through left go behind and with that referee brings the game to an end and Treaty United have recorded their first ever victory here at the Markets Field in the SSE Electricity League